It's not even a wall of a temple itself, and we will see a model of the temple in Jerusalem. We will see how the temple was looked like. At 70 AD, the temple destroyed. Mm -hmm. The only thing remained visible became the holiest site for the Jews is a wailing wall. It's a very little part of a huge complex. Uh, as long as the temple exists, that was in the core of the Jewish practice, belief and practice. People used to go, it's like a commandment, to go up to Jerusalem, to the temple, to sacrifice, to give donation and to pray. After the destruction of the temple, no camera, no newspaper, definitely no SMS. Uh, they wanted people to remember. So the way to give a reference to the temple is to mention like this, the main gate, to carve like the main gate here on the stone and the wheels that's a common sign to the Ark of the Covenant, mm. which used to be inside the Holy of the Holiest. There is the Ark of the Covenant. Sometimes two pillars behind coins reference to the temple. You know, in front of the temple, it, there were two pillars. One called Yakin and the second one called what? Boaz. Mm. <laughs> Yakin and Boaz. You know, Boaz is not, not only Ruth's husband in the Bible, also one of those two pillars mm -hmm. in front of the temple. Mm -hmm. So ta sometimes just those two pillars as a reference to the temple. Sometimes on mosaic, the gate is all. Today we have a camera, technology has changed, but the needs is very similar. And we can see an example here. Uh, yeah, the gate to the temple and the wheels, the common sign of the Ark of the Covenant. Um, sitting here in the synagogue of Copernium, um, actually underneath, <coughs> sorry, underneath, we have the synagogue of the first century AD. We are sitting in a synagogue of the fourth century AD, but it's just one above of the other. And you remember here, Jesus was preaching on Sabbath in a synagogue which we are sitting. Now, when you go in America to a Jewish synagogue, pe people sitting in the middle. But the original style of a synagogue is people sitting all the way around and facing each other. And you know the word in Hebrew for synagogue is Bet Knesset. It means house of gathering. You remember the Hebrew word Bet, it means house of something. Bet Lechem, house of bread. Okay. Bet, uh, Bet Knesset, house of gathering. So the synagogue was not only for praying, it's like house of gathering. And that's the reason the style in the beginning, people was, it's built like this, that people were sitting all the way around and facing each other. You know, today when you go into a synagogue in America, people see the back of you. Okay? But that's actually the original style, always seeing each other. The gate was built on a south, on a south wall on purpose. Because that's showing you, that's showing you the direction of Jerusalem. As the south wall is on purpose, because that's the direction. Whenever, when people are praying, then they're facing Jerusalem. But if it's for gathering purpose, they just sit together in a synagogue, men, women together. When they were praying, it was a segregation. Women used to go to the second, to the second uh, floor, to the balcony. You can see from here. You see the little pillars, up here you see the little pillars, yeah. those pillars supporting the second floor. And the third floor was like a triangle. Okay, the third floor was like a triangle. You see the, Jeff, uh, uh, yeah, Justin, see more. Justin. you see the pillars, the little pillars. Uh -huh. Remember, it's all collapsed in an earthquake. 
and the second floor, those were supporting the second floor, third one it was like a triangle. Now we call to this type of a structure a basilica structure. Okay, two rows of pillars dividing the courtyard to three different parts. And that's called basilica structure. It's a typical structure of those days, a basilica structure. And um, definitely compared to the size of the village, the synagogue, the synagogue was a huge building. Uh, just for you to remember in general, uh, as long as a temple exists, not many synagogues. Synagogue exists from the beginning of first century AD in a remote area from Jerusalem. It's a common thing to every Jewish congregation of a ten people to have a synagogue started after the destruction of the temple. When the Jews cannot go anymore, they could not go anymore to Jerusalem <coughs> to sacrifice and to pray. And they started to develop more and more praying instead of sacrifice and started to build a synagogue as a very common thing. In Jesus' time, yeah, before the destruction of the temple, already synagogue exists, like, he, like here in Copernium, in a remote area from Jerusalem, in more like a big congregation. After the destruction of the temple, it became like a very common thing to every small community. <coughs> no, okay. um, we will go out from the gate. We'll sit down. Outside, actually, we can have the reading here if you want. Okay, we can go outside through the gate, and there is a place to sit down, and we'll have the reading over there.